All right guys, so in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the six work from home jobs that actually hire with no degree. And I'm gonna be doing this video a little bit different. So I'm gonna be really diving into the exact company that's hiring, the website, the offers, how to actually apply for the job, etc. So by the end of this video, you're gonna have jobs that you can actually apply to and there's a very good chance that you can get hired. So if you appreciate that, let me know by gently tapping the like button. And let's jump into it with number one on the list, which is going to be plyo.com. Calm, and the career is actually called a good starter. In this position, you basically conduct artfully scripted phone calls to connect and engage with patients, offering them emotional support, resources, and encouragement. And the company Plyo is dedicated to helping individuals that are diagnosed with chronic diseases by providing them with emotional support through a network of good starters. And this company emphasizes creating a positive work environment with virtual happy hours, monthly contests, and excellent team support. And they also provide tools and training to become a good starter through their educational platform, Good Start You. Now the training to get certified as a good starter typically takes about 10 to 15 hours on average. And Plyo doesn't compensate for the training. However, they do offer a $250 bonus to new good starters after meeting a minimum of 60 calling hours within 60 days. And also additional certifications and training are offered throughout the year. Every month, Plyo offers live webinar sessions where they focus on best practices and keys to success. Now in this position, you'd make about $15 an hour plus newly hired uh, good starters, as I said before, can receive a $250 training bonus. And there's a lot of good reviews for this company from former employees and then people who reviewed it on Reddit. And the way you'd apply for this is you'd go to the Plyo career page. Then when you see the qualifications, don't be intimidated uh, with the preferred talents and abilities. They don't really require these. Now, for those of you who have call center experience, this will be a good change as the job won't require cold calling or selling anything, meaning less mental torture for you. <laughs> then you can go ahead and click apply today. If you're ready, you go ahead and pass this assessment test. Very simple test. And pro tip is just Google the answer if you're not sure, obviously. And then another pro tip is put their email as a trusted email so that when they reply, it won't go into your spam folder and you'll actually get notified. And some other tips on how to get started and how to get accepted is emphasize your experience in customer service if you've had any, even if it's just volunteer experience. Highlight your key skills, right? Show your proficiency in handling phone calls, following scripts, and using cloud-based software. Also show your enthusiasm. Make it clear that you're passionate about helping people and spreading joy and working with them. And then prepare for your background check, right? Ensure you can pass a background check, which is a requirement for the role. So yeah, this is a really good opportunity. I'm gonna go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, guys, one of the most common questions I get is, Shane, how can I start my own successful YouTube? YouTube channel. I've seen all the success you've had with yours. How can I do it myself? And that's why I have a live training, which I'll be doing this Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern time. You can check the link down in the description and the pinned comment below where I'm going to go over all the biggest secrets to how I grew this YouTube channel. So definitely check it out. I will be there live. I can answer your questions. And it's always fun to meet you guys. Next is going to be a Discord moderator. And you might be laughing in your head right now thinking, Shane, this isn't a real job. It's a meme. So you do you want to get banned? Oh, no one cares? And up to just a few years ago, that was pretty much true. It pretty much was just a meme. But in recent years, there have been Discord communities that are actually making a ton of money and they need people to moderate the community. And so as a Discord moderator, you are responsible for maintaining a healthy and safe online community, ensuring engaging and respectful interactions and fostering a positive environment. And also making sure that people aren't trying to like sell their courses or their info products left and right inside of your Discord. Your job might also include posting content into the Discord as well and a couple other things. And believe it or not, Discord moderators make about forty-eight to $81,000 a year. So like I said, this is a legit job that you can get now. Now, one example of a job that you could apply for would be for the Mayo Foundation. I guess it's in like Cajun or Old French, something like that. But yeah, it's the Mayo Foundation. And this company offers services such as computer programming courses and a variety of programs languages. And this company mainly offers part-time jobs for Discord moderators. In fact, they're open for two different positions right now. Now from the job titles, it doesn't say like Discord moderator, but if you look at the descriptions and the job titles, it, that's basically what it is. And the pay rate is about $14.50 per hour. Pay cycle is weekly starting from Monday and ending on Sunday. And the qualifications are you must be 18 years old and you must have a high school diploma or GED. So not many qualifications. So if you're down with this one, you can go ahead and apply using this link. Now a few things that would help you maybe get accepted 
accepted to this job is taking some training. Uh, one example of training would be the Discord Moderator Academy, which is free, and also Coursera Conflict Resolution Training, which is also free. And a career that's kind of similar to this would be a community manager, and they make about forty-nine dollars to $76,000 a year. And another career that's relatively similar is a content moderator, and they make about forty-three dollars to $76,000 a year. So yeah, pretty good opportunities here. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Quick break. So... I know you guys want to know where I'm headed and like all the different places I go to because I work remote and you also want to know how you can work remote as well and that's something that I share a lot of on Instagram so definitely follow me I'll put it down in the description and the pinned comment below. I also answer people's questions via DM if you reach out to me on Instagram so it's a really good place to get a hold of me so definitely send me a message on Instagram if you want to work remote and you want help doing that. Uh, link is in the description and the pinned comment below. Now back to your regularly scheduled programming. Next is going to be an ads specialist. And one company you could work for would be InstaServe. Now as an ad specialist, you will create, manage, and optimize online ad campaigns. And this will probably happen across various different platforms in order to drive traffic to a product or a service. Now an interesting fact here is this is a job that is still growing much faster than usual. It's growing at at least 6% over the next 10 years. And this is something where you don't need a college degree in order to get into it. In fact, my friend Seth has helped thousands thousands of people get digital marketing jobs without needing a college degree or previous experience. He does have a free training, which you can check out. I'll put it down in the description and the pinned comment below. Highly recommend checking that out. So many people uh, from this channel have taken it and have gotten jobs. It's amazing. And ad specialists make about fifty-three dollars to $88,000 a year. So uh, obviously a really well-paying job that you don't need a college degree for. And there's a lot of jobs down the line where you can make even more than that. Now, the company is InstaServe. And just a few details about the company. Uh, basically, InstaServe is a digital marketing agency. It's Google Partner certified. And it specializes in generating qualified leads and building brand reputation through various platforms like Google Ads, Meta, LinkedIn ads, Snapchat ads, and TikTok ads. And they use advanced tools such as Slack, Basecamp, Trello, HubSpot, and they offer comprehensive reporting with systems such as Swido, HubSpot, and Hyros. So the way you do this is you'd go to the InstaServe page, you'd go to the career page at the bottom, click on careers, then you'd fill out this form, and then you'd choose what position you're applying for. And then of course you'd select ad specialist. You can do either Google ads or Facebook ads, and then you'd upload your resume or portfolio here. Then you'd click submit and you'd wait for their confirmation email. And you can either whitelist them or you can check your spam email to make sure that, you know, if it goes in there, you see it. And how to actually land a job? Well, you'd want to first build a portfolio. And the way you would do that is by simply doing digital marketing. Now you can learn more about digital marketing in a month than people who get a marketing degree learn in four years. And the way you do that is by simply making a website and then running ads to some kind of product that you have or an affiliate product from your website. And then doing all these things that we talked about, like the tracking, uh, running Facebook ads, running this, running that. Okay. And if you do that, you, congratulations, you know more than 99% of people who graduated with a marketing degree. It's pretty much that simple. And the great thing is you can actually document all of this as well. You can document it and put it into your portfolio. And another thing is learn the platforms. It's a good idea to at least be proficient in Google ads, Facebook ads, LinkedIn ads, etc. Now there might be one that you specialize in, but it's a good idea to be proficient in all of them because companies appreciate that. Then get certifications. So you can obtain certifications from Google and Facebook uh, to demonstrate your expertise. Those do help when it comes to getting hired. You can also network, right? So, so connect with current employees or industry professionals on LinkedIn to learn more about the company culture and job openings. And you can get a tailored resume. So customize your resume to highlight relevant skills and experiences that align with the job description. And some courses and training that can lead to this job are the Google Ads Certification, the Facebook Blueprint, and the LinkedIn Learning. So marketing on LinkedIn, uh, Facebook Blueprint, and the Google Skill Shop. And you can actually go to Glassdoor to see the types of careers that you tend to transition into after you get your first entry-level digital marketing job. So for instance, 19 percent of people transition to campaign managers, 24 percent of people transition to digital marketing managers, and 15 percent transition to SEO analysts. So Glassdoor is super useful for seeing the different career paths and you know the different paths that you can go down. So yeah, this one is phenomenal. I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an assistant copy editor. In this position, you basically edit and proofread text to ensure it's grammatically correct. And you're not just editing any type of text, you're editing specifically copywriting. And copywriting is essentially sales in the written word form. And assistant copy editors make about thirty-seven dollars to $56,000 a year. And this is a really easy entry-level job to land. And a really good way of landing this would be getting a copy editing certificate or taking online courses in grammar 
current style, such as on Coursera or LinkedIn Learning. And a career path you could go down would be, of course, beginning assistant copy editor, this job. Then mid-level would be a copy editor. And according to ZipRecruiter, you'd make about $28.75 per hour. And then senior level copy editor or editorial directors make $35 to $55 per hour, according to ZipRecruiter. Now, some jobs that are similar to this when it comes to the skills would be a content editor. They make about $40 to $60,000 a year. A proofreader, they make about $35 to $55,000 a year. And an editorial assistant that makes about $30 to $45,000 a year. But overall, here's some job opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen and you can check them out. I'm going to go ahead and give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a digital marketing specialist. And of course, like I said before, free digital marketing training down in the description in the pinned comment below. Definitely click down there and check it out. But with that being said, a uh, digital marketing specialist is a little bit different. This is a different uh, digital marketing job. And basically, they're going to handle various online marketing tasks such as SEO, content marketing, social media, email marketing, and web analytics to boost brand awareness and drive traffic. So the one before was an ad specialist. They focus on ads. This one focuses on a lot of the other stuff outside of ads. And a lot of the time, they're going to be focusing more on organic marketing or more just of a big picture perspective. So you're probably still wondering, how do I get digital marketing experience if I don't have a college degree? Well, this person right here was kind of talking about how they did it. They basically created an account on Upwork and they uh, got a 70 year old woman uh, selling a cookbook to hire them. And then they basically optimized her listing for $75 um, and you know took photos, ran pay-per-click, et cetera. Uh, and they said they were so underpaid, but they learned a lot. And of course they were able to put that on their portfolio. That is work experience. So you can do freelance jobs. You can even do free work. You can do free work for a family friend. You can do free work for someone in your community, or you can just do a project for yourself. Start your own company, right? There's so many different ways of getting experience in digital marketing. You do not need to go to college. And I guarantee you, if you just do one of these things, you're going to know way more than people who graduated from college. And digital marketing specialists make about 53 to $93,000 a year. So an example of a company that's hiring for this job would be cookanyday.com. And this company sells cookware and is looking for a marketing specialist to handle their social media accounts and grow their brand. And you can visit their Instagram to learn more about them. Uh, it's, you know, instagram.com slash cookanyday. And the way you would apply for the job is I'll just put the link right here. You just type this link in. And according to their job post, you will be doing what digital marketing specialists do, managing social media and creating and strategizing content. And here are the responsibilities. Not going to read them all out, but you can uh, pause the video if you'd like. There's no special qualifications that are required for the job. Just uh, basically know the basics of digital marketing and learn as you go. So as long as you possess these things, you're a self-starter. Accountability is one of your main values. You have a passion for writing and creativity. You're detail-oriented and organized. You have a growth mindset. You're results motivated. You're adept at trend spotting. And you're passionate about food and love to follow food influencers and brands, then you're good to go. So if you're interested in the job, go ahead and apply. Here's the link. So yeah, love this one as well. I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10 opportunity score. I'll put some opportunities up on the screen. You can check them out. Next is going to be a clinical informatics specialist. And clinical informatics specialists uh, handle informatics responsibilities during patient visits. And they basically document medical information and they support healthcare providers. And they're typically hired by healthcare organizations such as Oak Street Health. And there are so many places that hire for this role. I'll put a few up on the screen. You can check them out if you'd like. So I'm going to go ahead and give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. And by the way, if you want to work from home worldwide with a bunch of different job options. I actually made a video about that and it went viral, got a ton of views and you can check that out by clicking right here.